Y'all, we're making those famous French fries. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the random web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're finally tackling those famous keto french fries that went viral a couple of months ago, Heavenly Fans Famous Keto French Fries. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I know I say this a lot, but this is one of the most requested videos I've ever had on this channel. It is time to try Heavenly Fans Famous Keto French Fries. These things went viral a couple of months ago, and since then, multiple videos have been made about it. Tons uh, of Instagram posts and, and um, uh, Pinterest pins. I just can't believe how popular these, these things are. So we're gonna try them today. I'm gonna be sure to include a link to Heavenly Fans' uh, YouTube channel down here because it's all of her hard work uh, creating these. Now, before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Thrive Market is an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. You can shop for thousands of name brand products, whether that's uh, food, home goods, children's products, baby products, whatever it is you're searching for, you can sort their catalog by the values that matter most to you. Whether that's vegan, non-GMO, raw, BPA-free, or like for us, uh, keto and low carb, you can sort their catalog of thousands of products by the specifications that matter most to you. Now, like a lot of big box discount stores, there is a membership fee to join Thrive Market, but most Thrive Market members save about $32 on average per order, so the savings can be significant. They also have a give back program, which means that for every membership Thrive sells, they also give one away to somebody in need, a family in need, a first responder, a teacher, a veteran, somebody that can really benefit from access to healthy food and products. Uh, I choose the uh, year membership. It gets the price down to about five bucks a month, but they also have a one month membership if you just wanna try it out. So guys, for a limited time, Thrive Market is offering you up to $24 in free gifts for trying a membership. So use the link down here on the screen. I'm gonna put it here. It'll also be in the video description below and in the first pinned comment below. It's uh, thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. If you use that link, you'll get uh, free gifts up to $24 dollars and free shipping on your first order. So thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this. Uh, it's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air and for that I am truly grateful. You guys know that uh, I'm a huge fan of Thrive, especially in the current condition where um, it's best to just stay out of stores if you can. Uh, so it's nice to have delivery of all of this stuff at savings right to my front door. So thank you so much. All right, let's make some french fries. All right, guys, so let's get started on these famous viral French fries. Again, I want you to go to the recipe developer's channel. Um, she's youtube.com slash heavenly fan, or you can just go to YouTube and search for heavenly fan French fries. Um, she has a great channel there where she is doing some wonderful work, especially for people who are eating vegan keto. She's, she focuses mainly, I believe, on vegan keto recipes. Um, so be sure to check her out. She is so soothing and calm. I love to watch her videos, but everybody, everybody is talking about these french fries. They're supposed to taste like McDonald's french fries. We're going to find out. I don't, I'm just going to leave that up to, to, to my taste buds and let you know what I think. So this could not be easier. She does one with almond flour and she does one with coconut flour. And all it is is the flour, a little bit of water, and the secret ingredient is xanthan gum. She also uses uh, konjac or cognac root, however you pronounce it, want to pronounce that. Uh, you can use that uh, flour, konjac flour. Um, I prefer and have on hand um, the xanthan gum, which she said she prefers anyway. So lucky for us. So I'm going to just sift this out. Now she didn't say to sift it, but you all know me, uh, sift, right? So this is 100 grams of almond flour and three teaspoons of xanthan gum. And that is really all there is to this. Now I'm gonna sift this out just to make sure there's no lumps and bumps in our final mix. Now I have seen some variations on this recipe already. A lot of people are already 
kind of uh, doctoring it up a little bit. Some people are adding, obviously, a little bit of salt to it, right? To give, um, so you, you've got salt in the fry, and then they'll salt it after it comes out of the frying oil. Uh, I've seen somebody already using like a mashed potato extract of flavoring extract so that it kind of has a potato flavor. I believe that was Keto Focus uh, has done that in her recipe, which she uh, uses this uh, heavenly fan um, so uh, recipe. So be sure to check out Keto Focus too. She has a beautiful channel. Love her work. So, but right now we're concentrating on heavenly fans work. So let's just make sure your xanthan gum and your 100 grams of almond flour are combined and we're gonna add six tablespoons of hot water. One, two, six. Okay, six tablespoons of hot water. I'm gonna get my whisk out of there. And we're just gonna pull this together into a loose uh, ball of dough. And um, this is gonna sit for a while. And, so she said to knead this with your hands. Once you have a bit of a ball with impeccably clean hands, I just need you to give this a work through. Now this is wet and sticky, and she said that that was gonna be the case. But what we're gonna do is when it's gonna sit at room temperature for about 15 minutes, that xanthan gum is gonna do its work and sort of create a little firmer dough than this and you're gonna see where we go from here so let me get my little bowl over here hold on Ugh. okay I'm gonna use my metal bowl to mix my next recipe in so this is gonna go right in here and then I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap and let it sit on the counter for 15 minutes while our oil heats to about medium so while this is chilling out let me wash my hands hold on Okay, so let's start on the coconut flour recipe, and we're gonna try both of them. Uh, I believe she says in her video she prefers the coconut flour ones based on the texture. Uh, so we're gonna find out. Um, and washing your hands with uh, xanthan gum is weird. <laughs> it is so weird if you've never kneaded dough that has xanthan gum in it, <laughs> it's weird. Okay, coconut flour. I'm gonna use half as much. The first was almond flour. We did 100 grams of almond flour. This is coconut flour gonna do 50 grams, okay? So that bowl's gonna wait on us there. Again, same amount, three teaspoons of the xanthan gum. Gonna sift that out. Again, she didn't call to sift it. I'm just weird, I guess. See there, look at all that stuff, get out of there. Whisk this good. And now, this is where things differ just a hair. The other recipe was six tablespoons of water. This is gonna be seven or eight. And she says to test it after seven, see if you need the eighth. Uh, obviously, um, uh, coconut flour is a lot more absorbent, so you don't need nearly as much as you do of the almond flour. So this is one, two, six. Okay, before I put in the seventh one, I'm just gonna see what this feels like. Try to bring it together in a ball. Okay, it's definitely gonna need seven. And depending on the texture of your flour, the humidity in your house, lots of different things, you might want to add that eighth tablespoon, but I think that feels pretty good. Yeah, let's see if we can, so, Again, we need to knead this with our hands. Feels a lot different than the almond flour. So we're gonna do a little bit of work on this. It holds together a little bit more. It's a, a finer flour, right? So, this is gonna go in its little bowl. Get out of the way. Look at all my mess I've made. So here's our almond flour version. Here's our coconut flour version. I'm gonna cover these in plastic wrap for 15 minutes. I'm gonna get our oil going and I'll meet you right back here, okay? See you in just a second. A few moments later. All right, guys, we're back. It's been about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And we are ready now to shape these French fries. I've got my uh, oil on um, low for now. We don't wanna heat it too much, but 
Um, and I'll get into that in a moment. Here is the almond flour recipe. So let's try this one. I believe this is the almond. Yes, it is. So let's try this one first. Uh, she rolls this out. Let me get a towel. She rolls this out right on parchment and trims it and doesn't use another piece of parchment on top. So that's what we're going to do here. You want to get this about uh, a quarter inch thick. And I may wish that I had put parchment on this. And I do. She did not. I don't know how hers looks so un messy, but that did not work for me. Okay, let's try this again. I knew I should have probably put parchment on it, but she did not, and hers turned out beautifully, so I may have done this wrong. I don't know how I can get a three ingredient recipe wrong, but leave it to me. I'd probably be the one to do it. So let's just roll this out. She puts it into a rectangle about a quarter inch thick, but what she does is she gathers up the sides to make it a square and not an oval. You kind of want, you know, how French fries are, this is some sticky dough. You, you know how um, French fries are kind of unevenly shaped? You, you want to go with that uh, so that they're not all exact uniform lengths like straws, you know, there looks like a, a sliced potato. So let's just keep on with this until we get roughly a rectangle. So I'm going to bump this up to about medium. You don't want to go much over medium uh, because the outside is going to burn before the inside of the fry gets crispy. So this is where you just kind of have to be delicate and you're going to cut your first fry and leave it over here and you want these i mean think about i hate to say it but think about a mcdonald's french fry what size that is and what that looks like so i'm going to do that and speed this up Our oil looks like it's okay to go. And then we just start laying these in one by one. And it's great. It, you don't want it to go crazy sizzling because that means you've got it too hot and almond flour burns. You know that. And boy, these are sticky. So just be careful you don't burn yourself. So all these are gonna go in or some of them at least for now until I get a handle on what these are like. Obviously we're using just enough oil to cover the the fries, kind of shallow frying them. You can turn these, I want to separate these. You can, one of them has stuck together. You can turn these with a spatula and a fork, or as she said, um, a pair of chopsticks. So, because you can just get in here individually and turn just one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use her trick and do chopsticks. Once I get them in here, and if we can't fit them all in one pan, then just do them in batches. And we're gonna lay these down on a paper towel lined plate. So while they're cooking, you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna wanna turn them, start with the ones we started with over here. And you don't wanna get them too brown. And they're firming up rather quickly. You see how I can just use a little pair of chopsticks and flip them? Now, she also said you can do this in the oven. Uh, just put them on a parchment lined baking sheet, spray them or uh, brush them with a little bit of olive oil and uh, bake them at 400 degrees. I believe she said for about 15 minutes, you're gonna wanna shake them and turn them around to get them evenly cooked. And some people are even doing them in the air fryer. So, but uh, obviously like most French fries, they're gonna be better <laughs> in a big pot of grease. <laughs> so this is uh, avocado oil that I'm frying in. Just use something that's uh, a healthy oil. You don't wanna fry in vegetable oil, right? So I'm just gonna fry these, take these up, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the coconut flour version, right? So as soon as I'm done with this, I'll fry the other ones. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna test them and I'll let you know what I think. So I'm gonna speed this up so you can see how this goes. Meet you right back here. All 
Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna hit these with some salt real quick. I know I said that I was gonna fry all these and, <clears throat> and then come back and taste them, but I, I mean, the important part of this is that they're crispy and so I don't wanna wait to roll out my second batch. I wanna go ahead and see what these taste like fresh. So let me just hit them again with some salt. Um, oh, I gotta say, these look crazy, crazy good. And they are, I mean, can you hear that? They are crispy, they are hot. They just came out of the grease. But uh, let's see. Wow. It definitely needs salt. If I were making these again, I would put salt in the recipe. But I can see how dipped in sugar-free ketchup. That's pretty... That's pretty great. It's, mm, it's missing a little bit of the potato flavor, obviously. Um, I mean, we can't eat potatoes or uh, shouldn't eat potatoes uh, on a low carb diet, but Keto Focus, you know, I've mentioned her. She adds the, um, she adds the mashed potato uh, uh, extract flavoring. Maybe that would be great with it too. I, I, I definitely would wanna give that a try, but for three ingredients, I'm shocked at how good that is. Okay. Heavenly Fan says she likes the coconut flour version best. So I'm gonna quickly make those, uh, speed through it so you can see how we how the, uh, these come out and we'll taste those too. All right, I'll meet you right back here. Alright guys, so we are done with our frying. This are the coconut flour option. This is the almond flour option. You know I already tried the almond one, so I just salted these. They are fresh out of the grease and still warm. That's good too. Um, hold on. Sorry about that, had to get some water to clear my palate. Okay, of the two, I definitely personally prefer the almond flour version. Coconut flour version is a little more dough-like and bread-like than the almond flour version, but to be very honest, both of these are surprisingly good. Who would have thought, I mean, look, this looks like a plate of french fries, y'all. And to be very honest, it kind of tastes like it too. <laughs> Especially with some ketchup. Mm. So there you have it, folks. Low carb french fries, keto french fries. Can it be done? You better believe it. And Miss Heavenly Fan, you win the blue ribbon on this one. These are great. I don't know why no one has tried to come up with almond flour versions of fries but or coconut flour versions of fries but honey you did it so thank you so much for sharing this recipe with us um be sure like i said to go to youtube.com slash heavenly fan go look at her other videos she's got a treasure trove of wonderful recipes particularly for those of you who are looking for uh, keto and low carb vegan recipes that sort of seems to be her focus so heavenly fan thank you for this Thank you guys for joining me. I know I say it every time, but these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you've come along for the journey. Be sure to check out uh, my Facebook page. I'm beginning a keto reset for the first part of 2021. Um, I've become lackadaisical in my uh, low carb and keto approach recently. <laughs> I can be fully honest about that. And so I'm looking forward to a fresh new start. So if you want to do that with me, come over to facebook.com slash highfalutinlowcarb. You can find me there. I may move it to a private group as well, but 
I need some motivation from you guys and I'm willing to help you along the way if you're willing to help me. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, meet me over on Facebook. Um, also, again, thank you to my sponsor, uh, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this video. Use the link here if you want to support me. Go support them. The link here is thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. Right now, whether you choose the, the one month or the one year membership, you can get up to $24 in free gifts just for trying it. I want to thank them for sponsoring me all through 2020 and looking into 2021. I really appreciate all of their support. It's, it's sponsorships like uh, theirs that keep channels like mine on the air. So I really am appreciative of that. And lastly, the names that you're going to see here on the screen, those are my rock stars. Those are my Patreon members. If you don't know what Patreon is, uh, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. It allows people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube. And you can give a dollar or two a month just to sort of keep the train on the tracks as it were. So I'm gonna list all their names here. Uh, they, they are true rock stars. Like I say, without them, this channel would not be possible. So thank you to all of you. I hope you've had a, a tolerable and healthy 2020. I'm looking forward to 2021. We have so many new exciting things coming that I can't wait to share with you. So be sure that you're subscribed. Be sure you hit the bell button down below and I will see you very soon. I love you.